pretty sure my diet is like at least 60% coffee. Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to show y'all how I made this coffee alcohol ink swirl tumbler. Super cute decal. It was pretty easy so I will just get started. So I am just starting with a fully prepped and sanded tumbler um, and painted of course but I, I used my white rust-oleum like I normally do but something funky happened and it came out like very oddly textured. Um, I was really hoping it wouldn't affect my tumbler any, but unfortunately it did. I had to do a couple of coats to get that bumpiness away. But I'm just adding um, a pretty hefty amount of epoxy here so my inks will move around. Now I'm just going to start dropping my alcohol inks. This is coffee from Picasso. And then this next one is ginger from Tim Holtz and the final one here is Caramel also from Tim Holtz and I'm just dropping everything down here on the tumbler trying to cover up all of the white spots. Um, a lot of people have been using teak wood from Tim Holtz as well for their darkest color but since I didn't have that I just kind of improvised and used what I had which I feel like is what I do a lot. <laughs> So I'm just trying to cover up all of the white here, not really dropping them in any certain patterns, just really just trying to cover everything up. Now I'm going to go in with a low density white and that's also from my Picasso pack. And I'm just adding some white spots here and there. And then once the tumbler turns back around, um, I'll drop some more in the same spots just to try to brighten up that white. I'm assuming maybe this is like the creamer aspect of the coffee. And then I'm taking my heat gun and just kind of going up and down. I don't want the inks to blend like all around the cup. I just want them to kind of swirl up and down if that makes sense. Um, a lot of people have been unscrewing their tumbler arms and holding them at an angle trying to get the inks to move that way. Um, I didn't trust myself with that, <laughs> so I just used my heat gun instead. And then after I was satisfied with the way it looked, I just let it spin for about the next 20 hours, did another coat of epoxy to make it smooth, and then it was ready for the decal.
Okay, so I actually put a couple coats of epoxy over this because from the alcohol inks it was feeling like a little wavy and I didn't want my decal to look funky. But here it is with a couple coats of epoxy. Um, it's a little dark, I think, but I think it's okay. And I got this super cute decal. Hang on, let me show you. It says no talkie before coffee and I love it because that's just like how I feel every morning. So this is all just vinyl and I did find this file on Etsy, I believe it was. Yeah. Of course it was. I find everything on Etsy. So I'll make sure to put the link for that down below. And I am just using some of my clear laminate tape from Family Dollar or Dollar General, either one, I think. So whenever I put my decals on, I like to stand my tumbler straight up and then kind of get down eye level to it because to me, that's the easiest way for me to get it on straight. And then I push the middle down and I just very slowly start to work the edges down. Then when everything is on there nice and flat, very slowly pull that tape up. And there we go. Before I go, like always, I have y'all's cup of positivity for the day. And today's quote is, you're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. And that was said by Dr. Seuss. So that was a super fun and easy tumbler. It turned out a little darker than I wanted, but I think it looks good. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If there's any questions, like always, please feel free to comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.